This video is on the three different forms of mucuna purins. So I thought I'd do a quick video on the differences between the mucuna purins and where I get it from is um, there's my catalog, Banyan Herbs. And they're an Ayurvedic herb company that are um, they're located in the Pacific Northwest, I believe. Um, and the only reason I use their herbs is that I'm real familiar with their herbs from being an Ayurvedic counselor, but I know there are some people that get their um, Mucuna prunes from other companies, but I just haven't used those other companies. But first one I'm going to discuss is the tincture. The tincture comes like, hopefully you can see it, like in this size. So if you're not familiar with the tincture, it's usually the herb mixed with an, an alcohol to preserve it. And um, it has a dropper. So you're going to somehow calculate the dose, which is going to be kind of hard to do. So you might want to just follow the, the generic dose to start with on here. And usually you can mix this with water or you can put it straight under your, um, the drop straight under your tongue. Um, and the advantage of this is that it absorbs into your body real quick. The disadvantage that I can see is that um, when I was using it, I need a lot of it. So this little bottle is not going to last me that long. I calculated I probably need three or four bottles of this. Now you could make it yourself if you're, you know, an herbalist or used to doing that. Um, I probably could make this. Um, the only thing I don't like is the alcohol taste and the fact that it didn't work as, as, as well as the powder. Now the other thing that you can try, that I've tried but I don't actually have stock in it right now, is the Macuna tablets. And this is just another herb that I, I use on clients or used to use um, but this is what the the, the jar kind of looks like so the advantage of the tablets um, actually are they're easy to use obviously but they might be hard to swallow so that's something that you should consider um, because they're usually the herb in this capsule form and I don't know if you can see it, but um, that's pretty big for me to swallow, especially with Parkinson's when you have problems with your throat and the muscle control. So convenience is definitely a, a big, big um, positive in using this size. But what's not good about it is that for me, I would have to take a lot of this again. Probably not as much as the tincture, but it would be really expensive for me because I'd have to use probably two or three bottles of this um, because of the amount of um, levodopa that I need. So what I do use is actually the powder, and I think most people are using the powder. Now, I don't like the powder um, for a couple of reasons. One reason is that it tastes really bad. And the other reason, it's really inconvenient. Um, but out of all three, the powder is going to probably work for most people the best. And that's because it's absorbed in the, the, the body um, quickly. It goes through the digestive system. So anytime you eat something um, that and it doesn't need to be digested, it's, it's going to usually, as far as I'm told, go through the system um, quicker. Um, now, I should mention that I do use half a tablet of the Levodopa um, cinnamon that I was prescribed, and that's because my um, neurologist said to do that because there's some, dis some talk about it not crossing the blood um, barrier in the brain. I'm not sure if that's true. I know, but um, I just use it just in case. So this is the powder and it's $24.99. You can get any of these things auto ship, which is really a nice feature. So you don't have to order it like every month and you can make sure that you don't get out of the Mucuna. Um, I, I have like, uh, like I mentioned, mixed the, some days where I use the cinnamon, some doses and the Mucuna, the other doses. Um, I didn't have any big problems with that. I don't like to do that though because I tend to have more dyskinesia. 
And the powder you just mix with water or you can mix it with juice, tea. I've tried different things. Look at my um, Makuna. I, ha I think I have like a Makuna evaluation video. I'll link it um, on the bottom so that you know what that video is. But I talk more about trying it with different things. Um, and they recommend using it with hot water. Again, you're not going to know what dose to try. You can start out with what they suggest. But you want to make sure that you're not taking too much of it since we're going to be probably using um, this for a long, long time. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, um, just leave it in the comment box, and I'll see you guys later.